Hello, I'm so glad you reached out. Thank you. Um, it, one of the toughest things of being a student is coming up with the guts to ask somebody a question because you put yourself, uh, it's a risk to put it out there and it's a big deal. So I wanna say thank you for reaching out. That was a tough thing. Um, especially over like email where you're just randomly just I hope this person is helpful so I hope I'm helpful um, but let's do this as kind of like a communication where we go back and forth and you tell me if, if I'm hitting the mark or if I'm missing it so first thing that I do whenever I'm confronted with an assignment like you have is I take the keywords that the instructor has put in the assignment and I start to throw in synonyms related terms antonyms like the opposite of what we're looking at and maybe other ways of describing it everyone's always going to come out with a different list but um, it's a great place to start now as a librarian my list is going to be probably big and don't worry about that because i've been doing this for like 20 or 30 years who knows how long i've been doing this um, but i wanted to start out with a list so when i go in and do searches i can check things off when i did my searches it turns out that this term is really big and has been widely used in communication, sociology, social work, psychology, you name it, in probably since the 70s, maybe the 60s. Um, this one was a little more ambiguous and was kind of all over the place. Uh, this one was like, there's 10 zillion articles, but if you start to mix and match some of these together, it works pretty good. I was thinking I might get into some of these, but I'll show you the search that I did, and I ended up not doing doing those at all. Um, and this one, this is pretty big into the rhetorics of the things that you're talking about. So let me show you um, just that one. So there's many places to search from the Merit Library, and I have a research guide for communication um, I'll send you the URL so you don't have to sit through me doing this in the video. But a good place to start when you're brainstorming is the library catalog, which is just this main thing uh, from LibUtahEDU. And I, you can search everything. Um, I always leave it on everything because I like seeing the menu of, of results. Waking up white and finding myself in the story of race. So this is library websites. Um, these are things that might have shown up in um, a campus guide, but what we're looking for mostly is catalog. There's course reserves. Um, but, so, let's click on catalog. My mouse is all over the place. I've enjoyed a lot of coffee today. When you go into the catalog, it's looking at articles, books, ebooks, microfilm, all sorts of different media, dissertations. And so it takes a while for it to churn through all of those millions and millions of different things. Many of them are related to Utah, many of them are national, international. So the problem that we have is there's 110,000 results. I don't know if you can see that right there. That's too many to go through, isn't it? I'm gonna move my head over here. Maybe I'll put my head up here. I never know where to stick my head, but I, I think it's, I think it's, um, it shows humanity to have like a head there, even if it's just a talking head. So when you go and you do any of these searches and there's too much stuff, you can add keywords up here. So if you did whiteness and anti-racism or something like that um, from those other keywords, and I'll send you those keywords, that might narrow it down. But I think since so much has happened in the last two years, three years, um, since 2016, I can't, I can't imagine what has happened since 2016 that's caused all this trouble, but be that as it may, it's an exciting time because we're on the edge of, of maybe repairing some of these issues that we've got, but I, one is always helpful in an election year. Um, what you should do is go to creation date, and it starts from the 1600s. I don't think that term goes back to there, but let's go up to the current presidential administration seems that a lot has happened in, since that time. And now, move my head again, now we're down to 25,000 results. That's still just like overwhelming, but still, it's a quarter of what we had before. Now what I'd like you to do, and this is what I would encourage you to do, is try this with several keywords or combinations of keywords. 
but go down to subject. What this is, is um, librarians of Congress and other boring people like me have put together um, when they read something or when they look at something, they will categorize it, catalog it, and assign these subject headings to um, each item that goes through. Sometimes the authors do it, sometimes librarians do it. But what this means is these subjects under that keyword from 2016 onward, um, these are the top results of keywords. So what we can do under that, that term that we put in, we can see what also is related. And we are very lucky. So you could narrow it down to college. Um, you could narrow it down to a community identity. Uh, but one, oh, and there's identity too. But I saw one, oh, here we go. Multicultural education. What they're doing in multicultural, and I hadn't thought of that word, that would be a good one to add to the list, is you are having one culture, a set of beliefs and identities, talking to another culture, my hands are, my hands are backwards. The camera is reversed and it screws me up. This should be my right hand, my left hand. So when you click on multicultural education, it's gonna say, oh, do you wanna add that keyword? So if I wanted to, I could do whiteness and multicultural education and I would get similar results. But here we have colonialism, post-colonialism, race relations, I don't know if that would work as well as education, because with education, you get that pedagogy term in there as well. Discrimination, there's some of my other terms showed up. I'm just gonna go for multicultural education. This is a brainstorming moment, so we're not necessarily looking for those things that you're going to cite, but if those accidentally showed up, then that's great. So here's one in literature. Um, ooh, campus, ooh, climate, I didn't think about that one. Classroom climate at predominantly white universities. These are books, many of them are online. Teaching race, helping students unmask and challenge racism. These would probably be really, really good for you. Having said that, um, oh, by the way, if you wanted to see this book, many of our books have a couple of hoops to go through. So I'm gonna click on this, the title of this one. Whoops, and it's gonna look up a term for me. Oh, here we go. When you click on the title, the record shows up, the record is information about that item. And here you can see it says online access, but down here below, something will populate and it will say, here's how you get the book. So on this one, there's two choices, eBook Central or ProQuest. You would click on those after you've logged in with your cis.utah.edu, your UNID, and you should have access to all of these. And it will be only online, you can't download them um, due to the licensing. What you might run into though every now and then is a UALC book request or something like that. If there's a book that you wanna have um, and it, you can't get full text access, email me and I'll, I'll buy it for you um, and we can switch these on pretty quickly. Uh, having said that, when you're looking for, if you found that those two subject headings worked really well, then you can go to resource type right here and click on articles. And again, we narrowed it down to 2016 to 20. It says 2021, but I don't think anything's been published in the future yet. That'd be creepy if it had. Dun, dun, dun. It's the future trying to talk to us. Drink orange juice. I'm just kidding. These are um, going to be scholarly articles. And these are gonna be sources that you can use. There's 102 of these, so that wouldn't be too burdensome to go through and look at the titles. Look for what resonates with you and your ideas and your values, and those are gonna be the right articles for your letter, that your, your pedagogical letter. And again, if you run into, stuff, uh, run into trouble getting these, let me know. Not every search is this easy, uh, but this, this wasn't too bad. Okay, have a good one.